lovely viewers. It's another great weekend. I believe you are fine. Fisa Media Dumbinti. Divine selection are coming. God take all the glory. I'm so honored meeting you once again. Welcome to Cine Premiers. It's all about movie discussions. And today we are discussing a very exciting and wonderful movie. So educative. In fact, the latest and the hottest movie you can't afford to miss. Yakwa Achewa is my name, your sweetest host. Before I give the details of the movie, let's go for a short break. I will be right back. Yes, welcome back from the break, viewers. If you just tuned in, you haven't missed anything. This is Cine Premiers, all about movie discussions. And today we are discussing a very wonderful and educative movie. So exciting. In fact, the latest and the hottest entitled in April. If you watch this movie, you realize that communication is the strongest key in marriage. Also, African marriages lack proper counseling. Because of that, young married couples of today are experiencing serious marital issues in their home. A lady called Araba in the movie, married, she is a married woman. She traveled out of town with her friends for annual vacation, but the unexpected happened. She cheated over the husband and got pregnant. Thank you, thank you for pushing responsibility on my husband. But hey, how sure are you? Say, so husband, beats me a umba. Will she look in the husband in the eye comfortably? And deny it or still keep the secret to herself would the activity of the vacation still remain in the dark let's find out father i have sinned against god and i have sinned against my soul i haven't been able to forgive myself because the more i try the more i fail we don't talk, we don't have breakfast together. We don't have sex anymore because you are always in your period. Sure, you don't know anything about the issue I asked you yesterday. I heard the headmaster talking to Mr. Salman to get the police involved. Police! Jacob suggested we go to Aqua Safari. We're going to Aqua Safari. You know we actually do this every first weekend in the month of April. You mean you're cancelling something you've been planning for months? Pick me up, 8-8. Aqua Safari! Go! Am I going to inherit the hotel finally? I called you! You, you, you just cut the line on me like that! We get to have dinner with the one and only Mr. Ajima Prefect! This is one and only Mr. Ajima Prefect! The hotel! My Bible, Bolt or Snap, and the ring that I bought for you doing in the wardrobe. My heart is heavy. My thoughts are haunting. If only I could forgive. Yes, and guess who I have with me today in the studio? Oh my god, <laughs> you can't wait to see them. On my immediate right is a movie producer. He is known as Double D. Double D, you're welcome. welcome dear. <laughs> and next to Double D is your favorite actress. She is a TV presenter and an actress at the same time. She is Regina. Regina, you're welcome to Thank the studio. You very much. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, Double D. So I want to know why the title in April. Okay, I think the title in April come up on set with um, let me say the director and the EP of the movie because we have um, about three girls in the movie which they do have this thing like every April they, they always go for vacation so and which they decide to pick up April for that 
for their vacation. So that is where the title in April come out from. Oh, okay, so because yeah. they go out to have fun in every April. Every April wow, every that's year. that's interesting. Yeah. And where was the movie shot? Um, Spring Test and we have about three different locations. Oh, okay. Spring Test and Ada and um, I forgot this place. Remind me, Regina. Uh, most of it was in Spring Test. Okay. In Ada. Yeah. Yeah, most of it. Okay, so how did you see the performance of the cast in the movie? It's perfect. They are right people. That's yeah, that's do, that's credit. Really <laughs> casting on that. Okay, let me go to Regina. Regina, and um, what role did you play in the movie? Um, I was Sasha in okay. the movie. Um, Sasha is um, a radio presenter, and um, well, she's friends with, of course, two beautiful ladies, and um, I was basically the fun type. And um, I had a boyfriend who was very insecure. <laughs> he had serious issues. I don't know if it's because I'm too beautiful for him or he probably doesn't believe that he's dating a hot girl like me. <laughs> so <laughs> he was very, very insecure. And it got pretty annoying at a point, you know. So yeah, it was actually a very challenging role, but it was fun because I was playing me because in reality, that's who I am. I'm a radio presenter. But then I've never had a very insecure boyfriend like that. So. <laughs> Did you encounter any challenges on the set? Um, no, not really. I, I, no, none that I remember. I don't remember having any challenges at all. Okay, and were you auditioned for the role? Yes, I was. But it was actually very easy because Yvonne Nelson did the recommendation. Yvonne told Lopez about me and then um, Lopez brought me in and he auditioned me. And okay. realized, okay, I was perfect for the role. So he just gave Do me you know her personally? Yes, yes. Yvonne is like a big sister to me, so I know her personally. Okay, so what's yeah. motivated you to accept that role? Um, first of all, when I was told about it, I thought it was going to be very, very exciting. And as I said, um, in reality, I'm a radio presenter, so it felt like, okay, I was actually going to play me in a movie so people can have a better understanding of what I do. So it's an opportunity for me to showcase my talent and what I do to people to see. Oh, okay. You know, with radio, they always hear you, but they don't see what happens. Sure, so I sure. thought like the movie would give them a better understanding of what I do by seeing me and play that character. So it was an amazing role. Okay. So was Bright being real about the proposing? <laughs> Bright? No. Um, everything about Bright was not real. That's how I see it. Um, because he would, you know, pull out funny acts just to, you know, be able to satisfy his curiosity. For instance, you notice when we went on the vacation, he came there, just bashed in when I was having uh, my date with my girls and he's like, mum, 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 I'm here to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so Bryce was like a star <laughs> right there. So, yeah. Mm. And so it wasn't real. You notice there was a proposal part in there. It wasn't real. But he brought the ring. So where from the ring if it wasn't I real? He bought it from Circle. They sell a lot of those rings. Five ah. CDs, ten CDs out there. So Must the cost be a problem? <laughs> Whether it's five CDs or six, it's a promise ring. He Prom accepts a five CD ring. I wouldn't your, mind. your engagement ring. I you wouldn't mind. Oh, yes. It doesn't matter to mm -mm. you at all. The you love. don't feel like that, would, that would reduce your value oh, as no, a woman. No, no. No? That's, that's what my, my boyfriend <laughs> or my fiancé had. So I have to be okay with yeah. whatever. Yeah. I think sure. I'm, saying it, <laughs> I'm serious. So okay. Okay, would you would you give someone a five C D ring? I don't do that. No. Five C D ring. Even the guys are What about if you don't have money double D? Uh, I'm bother to give you a ring. I'll just <laughs> give you the ring from my heart. High five. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so did you see Bryce's reaction being embarrassing? Yes, it was very, very embarrassing. Um, I mean, I was there with two ladies. One was married, of course, Araba was married, and Ar sure. Araba's husband was not all over her case. Bryce, I wasn't even married to you, and you just badged and, and tried to ruin my moments with my girls. I felt very, very, very embarrassed. Jealous type. And I was upset, yes. <laughs> Is it bad for someone, a guy, your guy, to be a jealous type and also What is going to be jealous for someone you love so much? Yes. Would you accept that a jealous guy in your life? Um, because in the movie, your boyfriend was so jealous and he was all over you every yes. minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love my boyfriend to be jealous, but yes. then he should be able to control it. Ah, yes, Madam Yang was sorry. You <laughs> love a jealous guy. Yes, he has to be jealous, but control it. How could a jealous guy control his emotions? He can control it by not badging in my, my, my meeting with my girls. That means that he's not or, being real. Uh, really? Of course. If you truly love somebody mm -hmm. and jealousy not draw or winner, you can't control anything. Yeah. Yes, that's what I, I don't think. Have a jealous boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's Sasha for you. She just changed her mind. She was Sasha in the movie, but in her real name, she is Regina. 
yes so my next question is to rejoin us straight up with the me means well cry even nelson was araba in the movie yeah. she was married as we all know mm -hmm. and then she woke up the owner of the hotel mm -hmm. into her room whilst you guys were away yeah. was it right at the first place um it was in the night yes it was um it wasn't right of course because she's a married woman mm -hmm. so she shouldn't have entertained him but again again i think there were circumstances surrounding what happened you notice that i mean she was a young married woman going through a lot in her marriage and so she met this man and she felt like okay let's have a couple of drinks they were playing a game and the next minute they got drunk and then they went into the hotel room and things happened <laughs> so there was a lot, a lot of things surrounding um what happened i mean the aftermath of of the drinks that would you have done that evening. um no i wouldn't have no as in, in how reality yes. yes in reality yes okay i don't drink so i don't think i would have found myself in that situation in reality nobody what is it <laughs> <laughs> is it alcohol or no alcohol mm -hmm. if man want to cheat they will cheat if cheat. a man wants to cheat they'll cheat but not a woman in this case, it wasn't her but intentions. Cheat, but you people cheat more than the way we Double D, please cheat. listen to me. In this case, it wasn't her intention mm -hmm. to, you know, kind of think of anything bad. Yes. But they were having a across, game. Have you come across any woman before, like, you yourself, you intentionally take the woman out. Nobody. To take a lot of drinks. Then when you get to the time to go to the promised land, that is when the drink... <laughs> No, let the eyes will open. No, please listen to me. In this case, they were having mm -hmm. their games out there. Mm -hmm. She wanted to come and sleep because the friends were going. She was bored. Mm -hmm. Later, the, she left her purse at the pub, and then the man has to bring it to her. Mm -hmm. So finally, the man was like, "If you are not sleeping, then let's continue with the game." Because mm -hmm. she was bored. Finally, they were drinking. They kept drinking, and it ended there. You could see what is it? And generally, they will be You can't take it back. I guess it was she. She to me, she feel like doing it. Not. We should not use uh, alcohol as an excuse. Do you understand? Ah, wait. Are you trying to tell me like if you take a lot of alcohol now, then you find yourself in any guy's place? So at least you don't have any choice than the guy to sleep with you. She was drunk. Okay, no, that is that is why the Quran says we should not take alcohol. It's not good because when you are drunk, anything can happen. Do you think it was intentional, Regina? I don't think it was intentional. Um, I think she was influenced. She was under the influence of alcohol, and that was what led to it. So, but, I, Regina, I so sorry for cutting you, but do you know at times if something you feel like doing, mm -hmm. aside of alcohol, like you feel like doing it, do you know these things you always come at, one, at, at times? Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's normal. We are all, all women. And have you had an experience like that? Have you ever? Uh, of, course, of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Another English. is talking not, from not his own like, experience. No, listen, listen, listen. No, like alcohol. That is what I'm saying. Like, okay. mm -hmm. if you feel like doing it, you do not okay. like because like I've taken much alcohol. Mm -hmm. So because of that, you don't yeah. have any choice, and someone have to sleep with you. We have okay. some people like when they take much alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the ladies. Yeah. They don't have any choice. You yeah. know, they have to get a guy that night mm -hmm. to sleep with them. They don't care even if the man is maybe old, ugly, fine, okay. fine boy, ugly guy. They don't care. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we have some girls too. <laughs> even if they are taking the old beauty of. <laughs> of they this still country. know what's happening. Immediately, you guys, you want to go to the main strong, strong room there. Mm -hmm. Ah, the, the, the alcohol will clear. It will clear. <laughs> it will like just oh, vanish. Oh, okay. what, what are you doing? Mm, oh, sure. please, please. Are you taking advantage? Do you think I've drunk? Oh, no, no, no. Please, okay. please. That is when she will be putting all the strong, those <laughs> tiny, tiny jeans. That is when she can put it on. Back. So it wasn't just the cheating. Okay. She also got pregnant. She was yes, pregnant. Was, yeah. yeah. So, so, um, if it were you, mm -hmm. would you have put in the the responsibility to your husband, or could you have said the truth? Um, okay, if it was me, let me see. Um, I think I wouldn't push the blame on my husband. Um, not the blame, the responsibility. The responsibility yes, as in he is the owner. Of like, the child. yeah, sure. No. <laughs> no. So what were you going to do I then? I, I, I think it would take a lot of confidence to actually go to him and tell him, you know what, I did this, it was wrong, apologize, and then just move on I, I feel it's very wrong on all levels to push a child that doesn't belong to a man to that child but regina this this days this day sorry i don't think a woman will do that these days it, it's kind of difficult because you just get married <coughs> you have a ring in your hand you went out with your friend with mm -hmm. on vacation this thing happened you got pregnant one, I don't think she she we she won't even do that for one minute to meet his husband. Like, sorry, when I went out with my friends, mm -hmm. I got pregnant. No, 
So definitely, we give it to the man. Well, these days, we have a lot of women like that. They will know the pregnancies for A. Mm -hmm. They will give it We've to We've even heard B. of stories like that. Yeah, yeah There was more. a popular man that was in the news recently. I think um, he, they had to go to court to, to you know, Yes, don't the mention movie. it. But I'm not going to mention it. But I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. About four or five children, right? Yeah, three. Three. Yeah. Okay, so um, Regina, are you saying you are going to be so real, open up to your husband and tell him you did this? Yes. Are you thinking I'd, about... I'd, I'd rather no, say... No, real life, real life. Yeah, in real life. I'd sure? rather say it then and then just face the outcome of it than to continue because the truth would definitely come out at a point. Sure. There is nothing that is hidden under the sun. Your so marriage is at stake if you do that. that. Well, I'm thinking about that one too. Uh, yes, I'm thinking about So you are willing to, you know, uh, give up in case even he doesn't want to forgive you? He, it's fine. It's fine. But then <gasps> I can't imagine that. It's which again. I like a very brave. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she's saying it like we can, I can't speak for her. She's saying what she, what she can do. do. You yes. understand? Mm -hmm. But trust me, not every woman will accept that. Out of 100%, oh, let me yes. say like 5 or 10% can do that. 90% will never do that. Mm. How? If it were you, Double D, would you have forgiven your wife after she has disclosed the secret to you? But let's be honest. I'm talking about me, mm -hmm. Double D, me personally. Mm -hmm. I like you telling me the truth that than hiding something for me. Mm. Do you know you can tell me like, okay, fine. I made a mistake when I went out with my friend. This is what happened. I got pregnant. Do you understand me? Double D, trust me. I, I will accept it because if she did not tell me the truth, how will I know? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I will accept it and I will keep topping up the foil, <laughs> top of the foil <laughs> until it got to like nine months. You understand? I don't know. I know. I know the baby will definitely look like me because I did more, yeah. more than. What the mistake she made? Regina, the truth hurts. We all know that. Yes. And see, so Obey you're bold enough to tell the truth straight up. Mm -hmm. And I say you, you find a way of packaging oh, it in course, a very I nice will find way. A very nice way to see. But it. at the end of the day, the truth is still yes. the truth. Yes, I will still have to tell him the truth. So and since you have drunk, it. definitely she will, uh, the husband will understand mm -hmm. that the civil is a good husband, like double D. Are you a good husband? Very, very good. <laughs> What's making you a good husband? Oh, I know I'm a good husband. Ah. Ask, ask them, at least I have like two women you can find out. If they will not, if they will do like this, they will tell like, oh, don't do our husband is don't a good man. is saying he is no, a good husband. We'll, we'll I don't even know. Husband. I don't know any. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have two women that you okay. can ask. Right. Yes, I said that to my. What are their names so that we can call them in name? I don't want to mention. You know, okay, that means Indomodi is not being real to us. <laughs> He's not telling us the truth. Okay, Regina, um, men and women, whom do you think they cheat so much? Men. Why? I'll give the crown to men. Men, uh, women. Why? <laughs> women. <laughs> men no. cheat more. Regina first. Take the crown. <laughs> Take the crown. Excuse me, I'm not part. Regina first. Why uh, okay. men? Men, men, because um, um, before we even started having this conversation, we we're talking about it. I mean, backstage, and I said, men feel very comfortable to cheat because one, every time you are in a group of guys or even when you hear guys having conversations and you hear thing, them say things like oh i've, I've slept with this girl i've slept with that girl like yo you have wow. like you know it's exactly like it's a big deal they say you are you're a g if you sleep with a lot of girls or you have yeah you're playing a lot of girls you know you get all the plus and all the fans for that but for women if you hear a girl has maybe two boyfriends they'll call you a cheat they would say you were a whore. Even recently, um, there's this musician that made a shocking revelation that she was dating about three guys at the same time. And man, you should have seen the comments that were coming through. People were just insulting her left, right, and center. But you'd hear stories that, oh, this guy was with this girl, or this guy has been with four girls. And oh, you know, people think it's normal. It's fine for a guy to cheat. It's in their nature. It's okay. It's acceptable. You know, if it, you're a Muslim, right? Yeah. Even Muslims are allowed to marry how many? Of course, how many? Has at least, at least, at least, at least, at least <laughs> three, four. Exactly. But, but that one is, is not a cheat. woman is that a woman is allowed cheat. to. That one is not cheat. Okay. The Quran don't want us to cheat. That okay. is why they allow us to at least mm. two, three, or four. Which, if you know, you can take good care of mm -hmm. them, not mm -hmm. to just marry them. Okay. Do you but understand? it's acceptable that you can have it's three acceptable. Do you understand? But the way you people do your cheating is different. <laughs> I, I agree what you are saying. Like, we guys, we can do our own mm -hmm. then. We like mm -hmm. boasting like, mm -hmm. oh, Charlie, what's up? The girl. Oh, I chop already. Yes. You understand? I, even, I finish up. Yes. Even the girl will not you know, chop before. Crap. You, say you they understand? You just like to feel big like, mm -hmm. oh, Charlie, you force you chop the girl. Oh, that nice girl. Chop. Oh. But this day self, I know they pick the call. Uh -huh. I don't think they call this yeah. day self. You understand? But it's, you know, in you people's side, it's like, you can't come out boldly like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 
that guy, yeah, even, oh, oh, oh I, I chopped all of them off. So your friend would just, a lady like you will even look at you like, oh. I know, know yeah, about? exactly. Yeah. Exactly, even, even with women, uh -huh. you can't even meet a guy on the first day and you'd want to even get down with the guy. Sure. Because you feel very cheap. And you, even if it happens, you can't even tell your friends. Oh, but that one is, that one, 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 that's my secret now. If I tell you, any boy that wants to date me now will know all my okay, secrets. Okay, please don't you date Vijana. Don't cheat me. <laughs> no, Vijana. So I'm ways of finding out. Are you telling me um, if you're okay? What happened if your guy cheats? What happens? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I, I would cry. I guess if I love him very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. speaking from experience. I've been through it before. It was very, very heartbreaking. So I cried. And I was sad, and I said I wasn't going to talk to him again. <laughs> but then I guess the love was too much. <laughs> <laughs> the next minute, we were talking again. And I was like, why do I have to go through that pain? Why do I have to, you know, um, take myself through all of this ordeal where I'm not talking to him? And so I'm going to go through, you know, that sad moment when I can just pick up the phone, talk to him, and everything goes back to normal. So it's it's very painful. <laughs> <laughs> Regina said, yes. um, dating a cheating guy is painful, but hey. But it's good. Still, uh, no, 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 the next one means to It's good. <laughs> Viewers, I am going for a short break. Please stay tuned. Yes, welcome back from the break viewers. If you just tune in, you are watching Cine Premiers. Yes. So, um, straight to the question. Regina, so would you feel comfortable staying with a cheating guy or even though you realize he cheats, you're going to break up with him? Um, no. Okay, right now, yes, I'll leave him. <laughs> as ah. soon as I find out. I mean, but I'm men, I'm naturally, men, they are going to cheat no matter what you do. Yeah, so that means you end up sleeping with each and everybody. When you accept that, and then he's like, okay, she's accepted it. He'll feel comfortable. That is okay. Let me cheat. After all, my wife would always, or my girlfriend would always accept that. So we are all cheating. So it's okay for me to go and cheat and come back to him. Rihanna, so can I'm, can I'm I, not going to accept him. Can I cut you to ask you one question? Eh? Yes. Now, you dated about... You date a guy, mm -hmm. you cheat, you leave the guy, mm -hmm. you date another one. Mm -hmm. In a year, you dated about two, three, four guys, they are all cheating. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it will end you yourself at the end of the day, like everybody cheats and you leave them? But who told you that if I cheat on someone, mm -hmm. another guy comes out, so okay, I'm going to be with that person. I can decide not to date for a very long time. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's, it's, it's not a good idea, like, you know, yeah. there is a problem I have, which I think, um, I'm thinking the thing is like generally, which is very bad. Mm. Why these days? Why with women like being alone these days? Like they want to rent alone, they want to build, stay alone. They don't want any husband. They just feel like any time they feel like having that thing. Eh? I don't want to mention it. Then they go for any guy they <laughs> what want. Thing? Okay, fine. Like like now, being a woman, mm -hmm. staying alone in the Bible in the Quran is not good. Okay. You have to be under under your husband since you have getting married. Mm -hmm. You understand? So any challenges you are facing, I think you people should be in the right place to endure because of your children. Okay. We guys don't think about also mm. think about your children and your tomorrow. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's very easy for people to come like ah, nobody cry. He have six wife. He have three wife. He have he have so so. He have so many children. Do you understand? But mm. being a lady like ah. Regina and Cry, I have like five husbands and I have ten children, one mm. husband, two children. Okay. How will you feel? Okay, but double D, you two, how would you feel if you cheat on your wife or your girlfriend and the next minute you come back and apologize and she says, okay, she's accepted you, everything is fine. That Wouldn't is, you feel comfortable to cheat again because you feel like the next time she's allow I'm saying, you? That is what I'm saying, like man would be man forever. I'm not defending myself, mm -hmm. so I don't want to defend any man. But okay. what I'm saying here yeah, right now is like, um, let me say 90 or 95% of, of we men. Mm -hmm. Cheat. 
I accept that. So there's that. a five percent that don't cheat, right? Yeah. Okay. So the five percent that they don't cheat is eh, the one that I'm where, going. That's going to find me. Do, do you know? They are watching. Do you know? <laughs> do you know you can't get them? Do you know why I'm saying that? Uh, why? It's either they are malam mm -hmm. or they are pastors. <laughs> <laughs> or they are just man of God. They have this hundred percent. But who says a your, man of God cannot get married? A man of God can definitely get cheated. But what I'm saying is now, before this issue of I don't want to get married will mm -hmm. come. Do you understand? There is a way. Mm -hmm. You understand? For instance, because of this issue of um, we cheating, cheating, cheating. Eh? At times, if so, like you be my wife now, you have cheated me. Uh, I tire. So I don't trust any woman again. That is when you find some gay at times. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, oh, more than three or four women have break my heart. Then these days, I don't want woman, I don't want guy. <laughs> you understand? And all those things is forbidden. God don't like it. Yeah. Do you understand? No, it's funny, but God don't want those things. Do you understand? So every, in terms of this cheating, I would just advise all the mothers, all the wives, I mean good wives, mm -hmm. that it's not good to cheat. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if you are thinking about we guys, the way we cheat, mm -hmm. so because of that, I don't like this, I don't like that. The next husband you are going to marry to is a cheater. Okay. We are all cheaters. <coughs> Double D. Do you understand? Madam? Would you forgive your wife if she cheats over you? Trust me, if my wife cheats over me, I will not. That is why I'm saying, that is why I'm saying, like, you guys should not think about us. Now, what I'm doing, I don't want my wife to do it. In fact, I don't want my girlfriend to do it. For instance, I have a girlfriend which I love so much, and I caught him with a guy. I won't be, I won't be comfortable for, for like a year or six months. I will keep thinking about it. That is if I love the girl so much. But if now, no my girl, what you concern me? If you like get twenty boyfriends, <laughs> you concern me. The more you have boyfriend, the more you have much money. You understand? Uh huh. So it be your body where you the sell, no be me. You get it. Yeah. So before, sorry, sorry, before, before somebody will cheat on you, mm. or before you cheat, before somebody will cheat on you, and you you get worried about the person. You love the person so much. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Of course, yes. So if you don't love your husband or your guy and he cheats, you don't care. You don't care. You understand? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So in terms of this <sighs> cheating, please, our mothers, our sisters, our wives. Stop! You, you guys don't have to think about us. Like, hey, my husband is this, is this, is that. Just look at your husband completely. Like, oh, uh, to twelve. I'm, I'm sure he's, he's doing their own normal thing. Those guys, guys, thing. Just rest your mind. Focus on your business, your life, your children. Because if you say I'm cheating, you want to leave me. Then different guy that is coming is even worse than me. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Okay, Regina, um, in the movie, Araba was married and she, unfortunately, she wasn't, you know, it wasn't intentional. She cheated. What will happen in women who cheat? What makes women cheat? Um, I think that what would make a woman cheat? Um, basically, I think most of the time is attention. If you're not getting attention from your boyfriend and you get it from somewhere else, it makes it very easy for a woman to cheat. Hmm. I think it makes it very, very easy. Attention. It's one of the things. Yes, I, th I think it's a mean thing, basically. So why don't you break up with your guy and then accept that person who is giving you more attention than you cheating? It's the same thing. At the end of the day, you still come back to the same house with him. Mm. You see, yeah? I think sometimes before you even cheat, your one leg is already in the relationship and one your other outside. leg is out. So you are trying to make sure that if I leave this one, <laughs> the other person I'm going That is to exactly what I'm talking about. Perfect. Like, you see, the way you people... I accept guys being... Cheat, do you understand? Mm -hmm. But you people own is worst. Your own is secret <laughs> cheating. No, listen to what Regina was saying now. Like before, <laughs> before yes, I'm doing this, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. tired of laughing. Don't you listen to me? Yeah, don't tell you. Before, <laughs> he said, I'm tired. I'm tired. Hey, <laughs> before you people will say you are leaving a guy. Mm -hmm. The one leg is in. Yes, and one, one leg is, is out. Outside. So for so the guy, for, when, the, for when, the guy in mind. When you get yes, everything's so, fine. <laughs> my woman, yes. And by the time you realize, oh, she's gone. <laughs> but and one thing I but know. But there is, is a question I want to ask. Please okay. let me use this privilege to ask this question now. Sure. Being a wife, mm -hmm. not girlfriend. Okay. Being a wife, what will really make you convenient? Like you are leaving your husband mm -hmm. for different man, or you are leaving your husband for you to stay alone. Will it be comfortable after marriage, after having about one, two, three mm -hmm. kids with family. a man? So leaving the man for you to stay alone, will you be convenient? How I, will you? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. First of all, you know, it's quite difficult for a woman to even live, leave a marriage 
when they have kids involved. Are you serious? Yes. Because do, the do kids you know are, a lot of women don't care about what you're talking about? No, the kids are always first in a marriage. Wow. But that's why you hear stories like um, even men are cheating because I hear when kids start coming, the woman is more focused on the kids. Even sometimes she doesn't even allow the husband to want to even do stuff with them because now they are thinking of my kids she's been through a lot there's a lot of stress and everything mm -hmm. so they don't they don't even have time for their husbands that's what you hear usually out there so then it, it's quite difficult for a woman to actually leave a marriage unless of course i think sometimes maybe violence comes in domestic violence where you, there's a situation where maybe the Adriana, man is beating the woman I, I, mercilessly are you talking about your Oh, like, but me, I'm not married. Though. No, no, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is, are you saying so it's not from experience? No, not experience. Are okay. you saying this like, like for me, Rujana? No, I can mm -hmm. never got married and after having kids with my husband, then I will not leave my husband alone. You are saying that like it's not something you can do. No, but I say you can't do that. I if I find out my husband is cheating not because cheating, of the kids, like, you are not leaving because though, of Regina, the kids. Regina, both cheating yes. or so many things. What the question is like. Is it possible for you to just leave a husband that got married yes, I can. to you? Yes, I can. And after like three or two kids? I can. You can leave him? Yes, I can. So how will you feel? Will you, will you be comfortable in the house? I would not. But then let's take an, an instance where your husband is, is beating you every time. You are suffering from domestic violence. He doesn't respect you. He's cheating and he's making you know. Like that he's I'm making cheating. you know that he's cheating on you and all of that. The disrespect, I would not. I wouldn't even hesitate to leave that relationship or that marriage. S sorry for asking for uh, this question now. Do you have your mom around you? Yes. Do you know if you sat down with your mom, for your mom to tell you the story, what he passed through with your dad, do you know you won't say what you're saying right now? Like, yes, I will. Yes, I can. I will. Yeah? Yeah. I'm saying if you can sit with your mom for her to narrate mm -hmm. one or two stories about her past, the kind of, the way she passed through mm -hmm. your dad. If you listen to the story, you don't you say what you're talking about. Because really? Yes, because at the end of the day, <laughs> when your kids grow up, they will mm -hmm. definitely... Mommy, where's my dad? Even if you are presenting a different man, like, but, oh, but leaving this the, man is your... Leaving, leaving the marriage doesn't mean that he wouldn't still be a part of my kid's life. If he wants to okay. be a part of it, I would allow him. But I won't sit there and have to suffer and go through all Okay, anyway, you're talking about this violence and beating all those yes. things. Yes. But okay, Regina, my next question is to you. You know, in the movie, Yvonne Nelson wanted a divorce mm -hmm. because of her guilty conscience. Yeah. So I want to know why divorce is being so common in marriages today. Um, I think you even mentioned it in the beginning that we fail to seek counseling when we are going through a lot of stuff. And I think well, that's one of the reasons why that is happening. Okay. Um, when you're going through issues, sometimes you feel like, oh, the best option is just to walk out. But most of the time, talking to someone alone is enough for you to even get some advice for you to want to be there in the marriage. So I think counseling is playing a major role in this. And some way, somehow, too, I think even with the, the people in the marriage, communication is not there. You know, most of the time, you realize that the guy is too busy, the woman is too busy, but it's just busy focusing on, on their own personal stuff and what they feel is most important to them. So they don't even talk. But sometimes sitting down to even talk to your husband or your wife, asking them how is work, how, how, how was your day and all of that alone, is enough for you to even feel <coughs> loved and feel comfortable in a relationship. Sometimes just communication, very, very simple, sitting down and having a conversation with your partner. It changes a lot of things and it helps a lot in the relationship. But now I think we fail to to you know acknowledge us in a relationship and so it's causing a lot of problems out there now you know so oh double g i want to i want to know your side why is um divorce being so common in marriages today um because um i think we men of these days we always see ourselves to be in charge and the ladies of these days too they also see themselves to be in charge like now um, the eyes, you know, everybody's eyes have opened, like, this is what I can do. I don't want to listen, whatever you decide, that is your cup of tea, this is what I want to do. Let me come back to what Regina just said right now, concerning communication. Regina, if you are putting yourself in my shoe, like, I'm your husband, you're my wife, I keep calling you, mm -hmm. trying to pay an attention after marriage, everything, like, let me say, for some time ago, I really want to call you, 
at times you pick up the call, at times you are busy, at times, you know, you don't do call. I always called you. Mm -hmm. Then you being the husband, I would feel at the end of the day, like, I think I'm the one calling, paying attention, mm -hmm. like, maybe you don't love me the way I love you, yeah. or something is happening, maybe you are seeing another man, or mm -hmm. different thing is in your mind. Okay. Because if you're talking about communication, your wife should be calling it's you. It's a two-way thing. Thank you. Yeah. But in this case, if it is one-way thing, how will you... Of course, I will, the husband will not be happy. Thank if you. The that, is, be that is why these divorce things come on time. And these days, if women even have, they have this kind of bold, they are so bold to even tell the husband these days, like, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Maybe, maybe they have a reason. You understand? I always think about two or three reasons. Maybe things is not going right with a guy. You know, you know, you, you know how you people do your thing now. Or maybe you have seen another man. Do you get it? Or maybe something else which I don't want to mention. Do you understand about three different things? Yeah, that will make Uma come boldly to tell like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this relationship. I'm not doing anything anymore. After asking, do you have any reason? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm done. Do you understand? But they can always give mm. details to their friend or their family or they will just keep quiet. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. But women will never leave you for no reason. They have a reason. You get it? You know but so what always bash my head most time is like, do you know at the end of the day people always regret doing, doing it? Yeah. Are you aware of that? Not every time. But do you know 80 or 90 percent of women always regret like, but what have come to me? Mm. The father of my children. Why did I do this? Do you mm. know that? Really? I don't know. <laughs> no, Regina, come on. I don't, don't know because anymore. I haven't been married now. But you know another thing? Mm -hmm. I think now social media is also playing a major role when it comes to marriage. Now you go on um, social media, you see young couples, people are just getting married because they feel it's fashion and okay. it's nice. I want to have that glamorous wedding. Let me also post pictures and let people also see me to be, you know, I've also arrived. I'm, I'm, I'm married now. It's something my grandmother said recently. She said, now you see young girls, they've never learned anything. They don't know how to cook <laughs> and true. they just want to get married. That's and true. I feel social media is playing a major role in this. Sometimes you go to, let's say, Bella Niger, you see all these lovely pictures yeah, of this yeah. young boy. You want it. You want to have That's the same true. thing. But the question is, are you ready to be in a, a marriage that is going to last you a lifetime? So I think that is also playing a major role in this marriage thing. Now you get into the marriage, you've not learned, you don't know so many things because marriage is even not some, an easy even thing. Even some women cook when they uh, like. They don't always cook. Exactly. They cook. Yeah. No, Viewers, um, Regina <laughs> is saying that before you get into marriage, you have to be prepared. It was yeah. a yeah. Yeah, it was mm. when you're ready. I'm going for a short break. I will be right back. Welcome back from the break viewers. If you just tuned in, you are watching Cine Premiers, all about movie discussions. And today we are discussing a very exciting movie in April. Yes, you are enjoying in April. Regina, um, I want to know how long you've been in the movie industry. Um, how long? When did I shoot in April? About, let's say, two years. Oh, so meaning yeah, was, was in April, April your first movie? Yes, first, first ever movie. Haven't you done any series or something? Okay, I have done series. Okay. Okay, you said movie. I told okay. you I, I, I specify that I've done series, but then my first movie was in April. Okay. Yeah. So how did you find it? It was very interesting. Um, everybody on set was amazing. It was fun working with everyone. Um, Yvonne, I knew her before we actually went on set, so we had that chemistry. And Belinda Jata, um, she's a fun person, <laughs> super fun, and very funny character, so we were able to bond. So if you watch the movie, you realize it looked like a reality sure. thing, because you know, you wouldn't, usually when you're acting with people that you don't even know, sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of, you know, I don't know you and you're not my friend. But then we looked like we'd ha we had been friends for a very long time. Okay. It didn't even look like a movie. Most people that were like, oh, it didn't even look like it was a movie. It didn't look like we were acting because we all looked like we had known each other for a long time. And it's because we had very good chemistry. Okay. So it was fun. Lopez, um, of course, was also there for us, the producer. 
every time you know watching our backs making sure that we're okay nobody was hungry no one was sad <laughs> <laughs> yes and was happy yes if there is money we might be happy ah yes yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> okay the movie yeah. was so interesting a very mm. nice story of mm. course so i want to know how many days did you use to shoot this movie um, we used about hmm, let's see a month plus <laughs> oh, okay. So with those people, your colleagues on set, how were you feeling? Was everybody so cool as you oh, expected? Yeah, everybody was, everyone was easy going, everyone was very easy to work with. Um, and Dinati directed it. Yeah. He did very well with the direction. He would make sure he gets whatever it is he wants from you, however he's going to get it. You know, so he did, he did very, very well. Oh, very and yourself, did you dream of becoming an actress? Um, yes, I have always wanted wanted to be an actress since the time I, I did Miss Malaika. Throughout my journey, I've always wanted to do acting. That's what I've always wanted to do. So it was like a dream come true, actually, starring in. in okay, film. but then do you, by any chance, feel uncomfortable with a particular role or something? In this movie, yes, there was a particular <laughs> scene I was uncomfortable. Um, so there was a scene where I was supposed to wear a bikini. Uh huh. Yes. I, trust me, I was very uncomfortable because I was like, no, I, I don't think I can wear it. No, I and was it? Was it? Did they impose it on you? Like um, compose you should wear um, that? Well, they made it easy for me because I was allowed to wear a kimono oh. on the this thing, and it was very short. It was a very. They made it very short because they knew I wasn't comfortable with it. So it wasn't imposed, but then I said, I'm like, okay, this is the only way the scene would look beautiful or do we able to portray whatever it is that we're trying to portray. So I just went with it. But then, thankfully, they were understanding, so they made me wear like a kimono on it to cover up a bit of skin. So What about, th what about the kissing side? Would you feel comfortable kissing, Are caressing? Are kissing it? I'm <laughs> talking in general, like okay, in the general in movie. General. Would you be comfortable kissing, caressing and all that? Yes. You're comfortable I, I with have this. I have done a movie where I had to kiss, <laughs> and I did it. Okay. Of course, in the beginning, I wasn't comfortable. It was the first time, so I wasn't too comfortable. But then again, your character in the movie and your character in real life are two different people. So that's what I always tell myself before I even do things. I'm like, you are playing a character. That is not who you are. Okay. So in order to put the story out there, make people understand the character you're playing, you need to go all out to play that particular role you're playing. So, yes, it was uncomfortable, but then once you accept the job and you understand what you're doing, you are willing to go the extra mile to make it work. So, what about if you get married today and your husband isn't so comfortable with Before this? Before I marry my husband, he needs to understand my job, he I'm needs to accept the job, and he needs to take whatever comes his way. <laughs> That's what I want. Before I even What say about yes. if you get somebody you love so much and the yeah. person is not in supporting with... Bye. Bye like bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, did you have any room audio yeah, in the movie? Very um, in in the movie, um, okay, yes, um, of course, Yvonne Nelson. I mean, aside the fact that we have a very good relationship, she's always been a role model to me. So, yes, she is a role model. And um, okay, I forgot his name. The man that was Ab Abbas, Abbas, the guy about cheated on. That Araba, was me. Araba, I mean. That was me. Yes. The teacher. Yeah. Oh no, they're not the teacher. That's Quequelius is the teacher actually. Mm -hmm. Um no the, the one that made her drink the alcohol. Echo Blanc. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He's also someone that I really admire in the movie industry. He's doing very, very well. His acting so is impeccable. So you <laughs> know admire me. <laughs> Okay, um, so what's is, what is the future <laughs> like for you in the movie industry? The future. Hollywood, that's all I see. That's what I see in the future. Like Hollywood, we're going Hollywood. Wow. So yes, I guess we're on the right track. Yes, okay, Regina, I want to know um, what your upcoming project is. Okay, so I actually have three. Um, okay, there's one called Jungle Justice. And then there's one, Heaven Can Wait. And um, Swings. Okay. There's one called Swings. Um, so yes, I'm actually waiting for that. Like fingers crossed on that movie is a very very interesting one that I would love the world to see. Wow. Yeah. And do you have any favorite actor or actress in Ghana here? Um. Yes, I do. I know Pussy I'm being partial, but Yvonne. 
is, is one of them. Um, Belinda, she also does very, very well. <laughs> She's Just a Chris. natural, yes. <laughs> um, oh, who else? Who else is a natural? Um, okay, Ajiti Anan. Okay. Oh, Ajiti is an amazing actor. I love, I love his acting. Like or love? Good. I love his acting. Okay, so can you tell me about your greatest moments in the movie industry? My greatest moments? <laughs> um... This as with this one, Ed, you know, I can't share it yet because the movie is not out. And if I give out, you know, um, except of, of that moment, people would, would know. <laughs> okay, but what about the previous ones? Previous Do ones. Do you have any greatest moment in okay, there? Okay, greatest moment. Um, so the first time I actually had the chance to meet um, Yvonne and work on a project with her, it was, it was a big deal for me because she was someone I had always looked up to. And I had a chance to you know, work with her. And she didn't just, we didn't just work, but she welcomed into her home and, and everything, which was an amazing experience for me, of course. It all happened during the time that I was in the movie industry. So, yes, it was huge. So, who inspires you the most? I inspire myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know I may sound a bit, a bit selfish if I say that, but um, I'm my own inspiration, looking at how everything started for me and now I've grown and where I am. I'm not where I want to be, but of course I've, I've grown and I've learned so much and I've, I've been applying a lot in my daily activities, which is helping me get to where I want to be. So I'm my own inspiration, basically. <laughs> yes, and Regina, I want to know what has been your greatest challenge on set? Um, my greatest challenge um, was having to play a role of a very, very sick person. It was very, very challenging. It was quite difficult to have to play that role. And the movie's not out yet, so I can't I can give too much information, but it's a very touching movie. It so was, it was very challenging. Aside that, when you haven't encountered any serious challenging on set before? No, not really. But do you believe in um, using what you have to get what you want, as in when we're talking about role playing and all that? It, okay, it depends on what you're using. What are yeah, using your body, to like sex, okay, sex for No. You, you don't have to use your body to get what you want. If you're a great actor, trust me, wherever you are, people would always fish you out and they would find you. Your, let your talent speak for you. Do not let your body speak for you. Because sometimes you'd go and sleep with them. You don't even get the rules. So at the end of the day, what's the point? Yeah, it's true. It's true. What is the point? <laughs> well, what you saying is true. It's true. <laughs> no, but it's true. Yeah, have it's you tried encounters like that? Oh, I've never have you, you've, that have, before. You've never I've seen a girl that you liked and wanted to act in, and you have. Oh, well, why would I like an art, like an actress? If you are in for business, it's business. It's business, right? Yes. If you are in for dating or marriage, it's different. But why would I see you to be like <laughs> an actress? So I want to give you a rule. Come and take your rule, mm. and I want to sleep with you. Mm. That's why that one is no good. No. I it's not making any sense. Um, it's a very serious issue some people are encountering mm -hmm. in the movie industry. Yes. Because right. you may be a very good actress, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, somebody out there mm -hmm. wants something from you before the person. He's in charge. Mm -hmm. your boss, no? yeah. And that's what the person needs from you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still say no. Is that person the only producer in the world? Then the person is not even an original producer. <laughs> Being a good producer asking for sex. I don't think that person is the only producer in the world. There are other producers. That would cast you for a role. So let your talent speak for you, not your body. But we have a lot of actresses there who are so talented. They are very good. Mm -hmm. But because I think um, people are doing it, because mm -hmm. we hear it everyday life. We hear this, that yeah. um, you have to sleep with somebody in the movie mm -hmm. industry before you can get a role. Mm -hmm. Because of that, it's shutting some people's dream. Mm -hmm. Have you been hearing that yourself? I've heard the stories. Mm -hmm. that they have but you have not seen I haven't seen it, no. Okay. Seen. I haven't seen it. I haven't experienced it. Um, so I, I don't <laughs> know. I can speak The point is, like, no, normally, he's not even producer who do casting. Okay. So... <laughs> Maybe if you are hearing this kind of bad news, uh, I will not point, like maybe some people do, some people don't do, but normally it's not like producer would be the one to do the casting, like, mm -hmm. okay, I want this person, I want this person. At times, director do his casting himself. You mm -hmm. understand? So I'm not saying director are doing it too, but me, I've heard about this, but I've never experienced it and I've never seen it before, yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe in it. If you have your talent, let your talent speak for you. Yeah. yeah, exactly what she's saying. So meaning your talents must go for you everywhere yeah. you go. Oh, yeah. the talent is <laughs> very important. Yeah. 
Okay, Regina, so um, what is your last word to my viewers? Um, so if you've not seen the movie yet, I'd advise that you go and watch it. It's very educative. There's a lot to learn from it. People are suffering in silence. So maybe when you watch the movie, you would actually learn that sometimes you need to speak to people. You need to see a counselor if your relationship is not going very well. If you have a boyfriend who is very jealous, you need to sit him down and tell him, yo, I don't like the way you are. I don't like the way you go about things. So let's just work on it the right way. And everything just works perfect. Thank you. Double D, what do you have to tell my viewers? Okay, what I need to say now is, <coughs> um, I think at times, Going up and down to talk about your, your relationship outside too is not a pain because when you tell a, this, the same person you spoke with, we spoke with your husband or your wife, they will, you will say one thing, they will say two things, you understand? They won't bring anything that will help the relationship, so they'd rather be bringing more fire on it. So in this kind of issue, if you come up, it's better whatever you have among yourself, you settle it among yourself, it's much better than taking it up and down not even your mother or your father because at times they can even give you some kind of advice that will not favor your relationship sure. you understand yeah so it's the advice is much better like whatever you have with your partner sort it out yourself then everything will be fine yeah thank you so and much advice. guys i'm so grateful yeah. having you i wish i could have you here again mm -hmm. yes thank you so much your age doesn't define your maturity your grade doesn't define your intelligence. Rumors don't define who you are, but action does. Let's be mindful with our actions for the sake of tomorrow. This is Cine Premiers, all about movie discussions. You can also be part of the show by sending us your comments, your questions, and your suggestions through our social media handle. On Facebook, we are the Cine Plus TV. Make it a point every Saturday from 6 to 7 p.m. sharp, and you will love it. Thank you so much for your time. Yakwa Achewa is my name, your sweetest host. See you same time next week. I am out.